girl Dominique. I hope everyone is having a great day. I'm here with a hair tutorial and y'all this is my best hair tutorial hands down care what nobody say. This wig right here that I have on is bomb. I applied it really nicely. It looks so realistic. I'm trying the new HD lace and y'all I'm so in love with it. Um, This hair is from Hair Spells. I will have all the information listed down below in the description box so make sure you guys check that out. But y'all the way this wig came out, like, I am so in love with it. So, um, yeah, let me stop talking and let's get into this tutorial. All right, guys, so let's begin. As you can see, I have already applied the wig and I let it dry. So I tied it down for about 10 minutes. So I used the Got To Be Glue spray and it's just a hairspray that just gives you extra hold. But I just went in and I just plucked around the edges. I didn't do any bleaching or dyeing to the knots or anything. This is the wig straight out of the box. Haven't even cut off the lace. This is my very first time trying this technique. Um, with applying the wig while the lace is still on it and I must say I love the way that it came out I love the way that it came out I feel like it gives me more direction with like you know cutting the hairline and it just looks more realistic when I cut the lace off while it's already glued to my head so as you can see when I'm cutting it it's leaving this like ashy white cast and it's basically where the edge of the lace is already lifting up so i'm going to fix that later on in the video but i'm just being really careful with um cutting this lace off making sure i'm not cutting my skin or you know my sideburns over here so yeah that's basically all that you do is you apply the wig with whatever you want to use, whether it's um, lace glue. I've never used lace glue. I'm just scared. I'm just scared. Let me know what do you use if you do use lace glue. But I'm going to go in with alcohol first and I'm going to clean around the perimeter and I'm using 91% alcohol and this is just going to break up and remove the extra spray that I had from earlier and now we're going to go in with more spray after cleaning off my forehead so this is what the got to be glue spray looks like right here it just comes in a yellow can I'm sure you guys probably seen it so I'm just spraying a little bit and I'm going in with my finger and just rubbing it in so just easy, you know, just rub it in with your finger. And as you can see, it takes that white cast, cast away and it's going to seal the edge of that lace and make sure nothing is lifting up. So let's talk a little bit about this hair. So this is the HD lace. And one thing I must say is I absolutely love this lace color because I am usually getting like that brown that medium brown color and it does not match my skin and it just makes it look less realistic so this HD lace it just goes perfect with my skin complexion I did add a little foundation to the lace um, before I applied it so you guys didn't see that but it is 14 inches long. The origin of the hair is Cambodian. Um, the texture is body wave. I have 130% density, which is like a natural density. It's not too full. Um, the It is a lace front. It's 13 by 6. So right now, what I'm doing is just going in with the foam and just um, basically molding my hair and parting out where I want my part to go and of course we're going to have to do some baby hairs um, if baby hairs isn't your thing of course you can just finish your hair off like this you know put some curls in it but I wanted to do some baby hairs so I'm going to go ahead and get my scissors and pull out a little bit of the hair around the edges but before I do that I guess I went in with my tweezers to tweeze out that part a little bit because I did not tweeze out the part at all guys like I I'm just so lazy when it comes to wigs like I just don't have the time so I didn't tweeze out the part too much I'm gonna put some foundation in the part and that's just going to make the part stand out a little bit more but I'm just going to take some foam wrap and um, swoop my baby hairs. 
so with Cambodian hair I feel like I feel like it hold curls beautifully it has like this natural shine and luster and it also give you that glossy look after styling it and it's also still soft to touch so that's one one thing that I noticed after curling this hair and after a few days like the curls were still there I've gotten some hair but I put the curls in there and I give it 15 minutes the curls are gone so this hair does a great job with holding curls which I absolutely love so as you can see I am just doing some little swoops I want to keep it as natural as possible I definitely want to work more on my baby hairs I don't really care for them like that but I feel like when you do baby hairs it hides the the lace and it makes it look a little bit more realistic. I love me some sideburns, so I gotta cut me some sideburns and swoop those things over. Um, but that's basically it. I'm just gonna let you guys continue to watch and I'll come back in and talk to you guys in a second. So here's what I'm looking like after I go beat my face as you can see I apply my scarf and let my edges lay down and just dry and everything looks so good this is the hair like in its natural state without any curls so the hair is just beautiful guys I love this body wave texture um, again this is Cambodian hair and it really holds a nice curl. So I'm just gonna get my curling wand and just put some nice wand curls in this wig. And I'm just gonna like speed up through this part. If you guys want like a detailed tutorial on how I do wand curls, just let me know down below. But you kind of get the idea of how to do it. You just basically wrap the hair around the wand and it really helps when you wear the glove that come with the wand because you won't be burning your finger, but it's all good. You guys, it's really easy to wand curl your hair. As I got to the front of my hair, I did start to take smaller sections and do smaller curls because I wanted more curls on this side and I wanted it to be a little bit more full. So that's the reason why I was taking smaller sections right here. And then after curling the hair, I'm just going to go in with my, um, my hot comb. Like this is my best friend. And I am just going to keep like straightening out this area. And I'm going to spray a little got to be glue spray. Um, the hairspray so it can just like you know mold in the direction that I want it to go so yeah that's basically it that's all I did to achieve this look if you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial you like this look make sure you give me a big old thumbs up share it with your friends family let me know if you do decide to get this wig and I want to see how yours come out but I absolutely love it look at the hairline it looks so realistic y'all can't tell me nothing okay you can't tell me nothing your girl is bringing out her dominican vibes right now like yes yes again thank you guys so much for tuning into this hair tutorial if you're not yet subscribed to my channel make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button let me know down below what other hair videos do you guys want to see do you guys want to see me actually like apply a wig like what do you guys want to see let me know pertaining to hair down below in the comment section so i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for tuning in why should I when you're all I really like, yeah I feel higher than a mountain All because